For Stampin' Sunday this week, here are the supplies I used. Stampin' Sunday is an open collaboration hosted by Thelma Hall. You can hop in and out of this open collaboration as you see fit. When you have something to share, jump in. And otherwise, just search the hashtag Stampin' Sunday to see what others have been doing with their stamps this week. I used this house mouse stamp that I got for Christmas from my friend Erin. I also used this tiny happy birthday stamp. And for my signature stamp, I used this cute little girl. It's called Peking Nanny. It's by Dots. I used the oval, nesting ovals punches. The Creative Memories oval cutter. And a Creative Memories circle punch. Here's what the cards turned out. You can see that I stamped the image, colored it with colored pencils, and then used the oval cutters to create the matted effect. And then for the happy birthday greeting, I used this peg stamp. I use this a lot, it's one of my most favorite stamps and then punched it out with the nested ovals. I have not done anything on the inside yet except for the green, dark green cardstock. I did add a paper so that the writing would show up better. And then for the signature, I stamped the little girl and punched her out and signed. And signed. I also did one on the pink or blush cardstock. Again, nothing in the card itself yet. And here's the signature. I did another one in green. I really enjoy House Mouse stamps. They're very detailed. The best ink for this very detailed type of stamp is something like a Versafine. I have a lot of luck when I stamp detailed images with this VersaFine pigment ink. I am an Amazon affiliate now and this is available on Amazon. I will link to it down in the description if you're interested. It's a great ink, especially if you're watercoloring. It's not so good with alcohol inks, but I tend to use uh, colored pencils, so it works great for that. Another tip too is when I'm stamping my image, I stamp it on an old phone book. Stamping your images on an old phone book, really something about the give of that phone book really helps for a nice crisp image. One of my goals this year is to really get my craft room organized. And I have this big box of stamps. There are stamps throughout my craft room that need to be sorted through, basically. I need to determine if I'm going to keep them, if I am going to keep them, categorize them so that they can be easily found. So let's go through this box of stamps. Happy birthday. Definitely a well-used stamp that I will continue to use. So I'm going to make some piles here. We're going to say keep <laughs> and I'll do a keep pile and a giveaway pile. To the right is a keep, to the left is a giveaway and I fully expect that I will have more on the keep side than the giveaway side but my philosophy is that's okay. It's a process and eventually things will get organized. You're an angel. I have some beautiful angel stamps, but I don't think that I will use this. So I'm going to put that in donation. This is an LRL design stamp for spring. I love it. I'll definitely use it. This very gorgeous stamp says Santa Rosa. It has a beautiful heart. I think this would make 
wonderful valentines or even birthday cards so it's a definite keep the calendar grid this is a club scrap stamp i've had it for many years i really don't think i'll use it so that's going to be donated to from i love making tags for christmas definitely keeping that i'm a fan of Raggedy Ann and Andy, definitely a keep. This is an autumn stamp. It goes with the seasonal stamp, so I'm definitely going to use it and keep it. Summer, that's a keep. Wishing that all your wishes come true on your birthday. A keep, I use that a lot. Here's a cute doll, and I think I will use her. She would be fun to color. This is a really cute tortoise or turtle, and I think he would be a great signature stamp and just a lot of fun. Here's an angel. She's really, really cute. I like that she's holding some buttons. I may not keep her forever, but I'm going to keep put her in the keep pile for right now. Another really cute doll. Definitely keeping her. I told you there's gonna be more. <laughs> on the keep pile than the donate but I, I've still got to do this process I love these tulips you can repeat the you know stamp them repeatedly to make a cool border it's a keep these singing teddies also a keep sing choirs of angels this would go well with some of my angel stamps it's a very pretty interesting font keep it. Snowman, what's not to keep? I'm sorry, it's got to be kept. The skiing bear. This is a hard one. I think he would be really good to color. I'll keep him for now. Bear with flowers. Too cute not to keep. Stempendous, keep Christmas in your heart. I really like all of these little icons. They would be fun to color and you could cut them out and, and make little icons on December daily. And I love the candy canes. It is a cling stamp. Gotta say keep. This is some balloons. I do a lot of birthday cards. Gotta keep it. Here is a smaller stamp of that bear. That I sorted. It, it's the same image, just smaller, and I think I'll keep the large image but donate the small image. Phew, I finally donated something, right? <laughs> finally! There's three here in like 30 years. I love this one, wishing you all the wonders of the holiday season. I can definitely see myself using that again. Make a wish. This is a really fun one to make birthday cards with. I really like these stockings. In fact, I made a page border using those stockings and I'm gonna be scrapbooking with this and doing a video with this border soon. I think I'll still use this and I will keep it. This is a moose and there is a companion sentiment not a creature was stirring not even a moose it's just too cute and funny not to keep this is a nice snowman in an oval it's a beautiful stamp definitely a keep this I like to stamp on the outside of Christmas cards because it's a mailbox so I think that looks really cute here's Fred definitely keeping Fred The bells. These are lovely. I like the stylized image, but I don't think I'll use it. So I'm going to donate that one. Here's another Christmas stocking, and I think it's really cool. So I'm going to keep it. This little, this is cute. It's a bunny with a carrot and like PJs hanging. But I don't think I'll use this stamp, so I'm going to donate it. Precious Moments, too cute not to keep. I have some other Precious Moments stamps. 
this is a light post and that that is really an interesting image and I think it's kind of a nice size to put inside a card so I'm going to keep it bears these it says Christmas bears it's quite a detailed stamp I think they're lovely but I have some other bear stamps and I'm gonna donate that this is a Boyd's bear Emma and Bailey having afternoon tea hmm I think I'll eventually donate this but our hostess for the monthly Twinchy first Tuesday is crafts and tea with Janet Kay and I want to stamp some of these images with the teapot and teacup and send that to her before I donate that beautiful vintage angel here I do have some other angel stamps that I think I like better so I'm gonna donate her cute cute image for a Valentine and this one says, hug me. I think I'll keep those a little longer. Really cute bear with pot of flowers and there's a little butterfly. I need to come back to him. I like him and may keep him. This is a really pretty stamp. Lilac Flower Fairy. It says, stamps, hemp, and ink. I think she would be really fun to color. I may not keep her forever, but for now, I do want to keep her. Maybe some springtime type cards. Oh, the Garden Fairy. She's really cute. Oh boy. I think I'm going to have to play with her before I donate her. She'll be an eventual donate. This is a cute fall image with the Scarecrow. I think I'll put him in with my fall stamps. A great signature stamp kind of a Raggedy Ann and Andy type thing. It says Stampin' Up 1993. Gotta keep it. Oh, I'm not ready to say yes or no to you. I gotta wait. Uh, bear. Very cute bear. Gotta donate him. I just, I've got so much that I'm keeping. I've gotta donate some things. These are super cute. Also bears. Gotta donate the dollies aren't they cute mm. I'm in love with dolls and Raggedy Ann type dolls probably gonna keep it but I'm gonna revisit it's a beautiful angel stamp gotta keep it we're getting down there dolls mm. they kind of go Oh, uh, together, don't they? Gotta keep them. At least for now. These may eventually get donated. She's cute. She has a heart. But I'm gonna donate her. This little lady is... It's called Love You to Bits, Redwood City. She's got like a little wand here. I think I may have a double of her. So I may be able to donate her, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna keep her for now. When I find the double, then I'll donate. Okay, back to this buddy. I gotta let him go. I gotta donate him. Let's put the donated stamps in here and I will continue to fill this box as I find more stamps from my stash to donate. But this is a good start, right? I mean, Yes, I'm keeping more than I'm donating, at least for now, but it's a start, right? Don't forget to check the hashtag Stampin' Sunday to see what everyone else has been doing with their stash of stamps. Happy stamping and paper crafting, everyone.